So today we're actually going to be talking about how you have Chicago, the city of Chicago, who is trying to sue Glock Incorporated. That's the one of the biggest gun manufacturers in the world, really, trying to sue them because of the Glock switch. It's an addition to the Glock. All right. Now, the issue with that is this. You have a lot of people, criminals, who are using 3D printing to create this. And Brandon Johnson in Chicago was saying like, yo, this is a problem. And it's because of you and your guns. Not looking at the bigger issue. I have an article here and let's get into it. Chicago sues Glock over switch that converts pistols to machine guns guns okay uh it says a small switch that can be bought for as little as 20 dollars or even 3d printed at home can convert one of the most popular handguns in america into a weapon with machine like power that's huge now the issue with that though is the fact that yes the gun manufacturer has this as a weakness but is it necessarily the gun manufacturer's fault that's the big question here but let's continue and while the handgun modification uniquely affects glock pistols the manufacturer has done nothing to stop it the city of chicago alleged in a new lawsuit in the complaint filed in cook county circuit court the city accuses glock of allowing illegal machine guns to proliferate on the streets of chicago by selling pistols, it knows can be easily modified. Well, but yes, they there is an addition. Okay, yes, it said that you can either buy there, you can either buy it for twenty dollars, or you can have a three D printed version of it that you can create yourself. I don't know necessarily that it's the gun manufacturer's fault. I think it's more of lobbying and the loose restrictions on guns. Um, and just a host of other things. I don't know necessarily if I would go and say like, oh, we have to sue you because this happened. It's like saying, oh, I have to go and sue a knife company because you could add an extended shaft to it and go and do something. I feel like there's other reasons or other players at hand as to why this is allowed to go on. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's their fault. There's things that can be done like Indian lobbying for really everything, but definitely for that um, and reducing the or enhancing the restriction on to certain guns that people can carry. But let's continue. While Chicago has long struggled with an epidemic of gun violence, it is unquestionable that the ease of modification of Glocks and the resulting prevalence of modified Glocks have made the situation worse, the city said in its lawsuit. It notes elsewhere, Glock also knows it could fix the problem but chose not to. So that's where they're trying to go and they're saying putting profits over public safety and violating the law. This is where I would say yes, we are going, we're putting our toe where we need to be going. Now, here's where I have an issue is because this is where we're concentrating on. Okay, we have a lawsuit against Glock Incorporated. Oh, we got to stop it because they're allowing these guns to be in here. But then we just had a ruling from an Obama Democrat appointed judge that said that a particular illegal immigrant, which that can now go to anyone who's to say it doesn't go to anyone where it said that they could legally carry guns in the United States, even though, check notes, they are not legally here. So, so we're having this issue here. Two different gun kind of laws going on. One says illegal immigrants could go and just have guns. And you're saying, oh no, we need to stop this because there's a Glock switch on there. We got to sue the company. But you're you're putting all your attention, all your direction towards the wrong cause, towards the wrong case, in my opinion. I feel like it really needs to be going towards lobbyists and all the politicians that are allowing for all this stuff to happen. And also not allowing just anybody to go and have guns too. You say that they're proliferating the community. You're saying that there's a lot of gun violence that's going on, yet you're just allowing people to have guns that aren't even legally here that do not abide by the Constitution. Make it make sense to me. But those are my opinions on that. Um, I find it interesting that he is saying, oh, we got to go in, sue them, and we got to do this. But it's like, oh, I think there's other players at hand that are at the table dealing them cards that you are not paying attention 